Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 113 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. I like this problem a lot. It involves uh, geometry and lines of symmetry, and this is always a very popular concept um, on teacher certification exams. So definitely make sure you know what lines of symmetry are. It goes, which, which figures have at least one line of symmetry? So we're looking for at, at least one line of symmetry. Now what is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is something like, let's say we had a square. A line of symmetry cuts that figure in two congruent halves that you could fold over onto one another and they would line up perfectly. So if I folded this square on this dotted line here, they would fold over um, this, this point here would fold over onto this point here and they would, um, just by going over that line of symmetry they would absolutely fold over and, uh, and touch. What about, um, and this is the same, you know, if you can imagine a person, here's a person here, if, if you were to think about the line of symmetry for a person, and you're thinking about two equal halves that if you fold over they would relatively match up, the line of symmetry for a person is right down the center. Well, for a square, this could be the line of symmetry. Or we could fold it over on this line here, and that could be the line of symmetry. For squares, you can also fold on the diagonal here and the diagonal here. So squares have four lines of symmetry. What are some other really popular ones? What about a rectangle? Well, a rectangle, you could divide here, this one right here. And you could also divide it here in half. Can you divide it on the diagonals? Well, here's the thing. What happens when you divide it on the diagonals is that it's true that this is going to be congruent to this. But when you fold it over, what ends up happening is that it doesn't fold over perfectly on the, uh, on the line. You actually get sides that um, don't overlap. If I, if I folded this side over on that line of symmetry, it doesn't match up with this corner here. So a rectangle only has two lines of symmetry. And then the one that you know is really popular is a circle. How many different ways could you fold, uh, create a line of symmetry for a circle? You could do it here and here and here and here. And the thing with a circle is a circle is infinite. Now we're going to get to the problem at hand. Which figure has at least one line of symmetry? Well, this, uh, let's start with our octagon. Make it really big. I think we, I think everyone agrees that we could do, uh, we could do this, right? There's one line of symmetry. There's another line of symmetry. We got another line here. And we could, we could, actually just keep on going with these lines of symmetry. Um, an octagon has something like eight lines of symmetry. If we counted all, if we counted all these up, not, not trying to overlap, but just be, we'd be really careful, we'd be like line one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I, I might have uh, missed one right here. Eight. An octagon has eight lines of symmetry. So yes, it has <laughs> more than one line of symmetry. What about this one right here, a heart? Well, it looks like if I divide it like this, then right in the center, it has one line of symmetry. So three and four have at least one line of symmetry. What about these shapes here? Well, I don't see anything that's saying that this is, you know, to scale or not. I, I would definitely rule out two because it doesn't look like you could divide this any way that when you fold it over, you know, it's going to fold over perfectly. So that one's easy to. Number th one, it's kind of hard because if it was an equilateral triangle, there's a whole bunch of ways you can, you can uh, fold an equilateral triangle um, in three different ways. One, one here, one, two. So the, an equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. But this one right here, it doesn't look like it's an equilateral triangle. And looking at it even closer, it looks like all three angles 
are different. So this one has no lines of symmetry. So the answer here is th um, the octagon and the heart are the ones that have at least, um, at least one line of symmetry. Okay, team, I hope you found this video helpful on reviewing lines of symmetry and geometric shapes. You should definitely know how many lines of symmetry are in a square, in a rectangle, in a circle, and with these, pro and with these shapes as well. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.